Welcome to the exciting and new podcast. This is a mini, though, right? I'm Jason. I'm Andy. And I'm Brian. And With I'm a mini special Mac. guest, we got <laughs> Mini Mac. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on you there. Not but... a mini Mac at all. An extra large Mac, but that's okay. <laughs> but you know, like a little John. Max in the house. <laughs> As we continue our Halloween extravaganza, we're going to do a mini first right now, and that's what we got going on right here. So let's get right into it. Brian, what did you watch this week? <laughs> Let me, hold on, let me pull it up. All right, I watched. At least you uh, got something written down. That's I, nice. I, I, I watched the first four episodes of The Watcher on Netflix. I am also four episodes okay. in on The Watcher. All right, it's it's okay. Yeah, I'm it, watching one episode a night a day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess that that's way. kind of what we're doing. It's uh, Netflix. It's Bobby Carnavale, who I love from Boardwalk Empire. He's awesome, isn't he? Yeah, and Naomi Watts, who I think the only thing I remember her from is the King Kong movie, the Peter Jackson. King also, Kong, um, Richard Kind. Richard Kind is, is in amazing. It. He's in good, this. and uh, Mia Farrow and <laughs> yeah, oh, Mia Farrow, Sh- man, Shooter man. McGavin, Shooter McGavin, Christopher McDonald, and. Um, I don't know what she was the meth dealer from Justified season one and two. I don't remember I her name. Justified, That's Richard Kine's right. wife in, oh, in, Maureen. The, in Maureen. The watch. Mo, Big Mo. Right? Big Mo. Yeah. 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 Anyway, it takes place in Westfield, New Jersey. It's based on a real based story a of these, story, yeah. these people move from New York to Westfield into this nice huge house. house. Yeah, huge house. And they get a letter saying. I love that voice. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's like, like one of those modulated voices saying, like, you, you. And there, I'm there, watching you. There's many Why generations just, of people watching this house. Why won't and you just give the house oh, what it I was? I've heard about this. And, and they, what's the young or wasn't that based on a true story? It's based on, yeah, it happened in like 2015 or yes. something like that. Yeah, so it's Our very good. The, so far, so good. It's four episodes. Young blood. In. Yeah, and so they keep talking about the young blood. And they know details about the family and. And then it's coming out like they bought the house without knowing any of this. Then the realtor is trying to say, they didn't know anything. Oh yeah, the realtor is a uh, what's her face, uh, Stifler's mom, uh, <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge. Jennifer Coolidge, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, it's good. I I, I recommend it. it yeah. It's fun. I, it's fun. Is Watch it a I'm, comedy. It's not a comedy, but it's done by Ryan Murphy, the guy that did like American Horror Story it's and stuff. Well, so it's written well. Yeah. It's not. Oh. It's not too serious either. Yeah, it's, it's it's a little bit. of... You can find yourself saying this is ridiculous, like in a silly way, but not like a laughing kind of way. But I know what you're saying, though. Like, oh. yeah. So it's not like the honeymooners. So, Yo, Ralph. I know you're watching me. <laughs> no, but oh. it's and I'm watching you. Watching, watching me. Though. Great cast too. Like, yeah, great cast. Um, mm. and the story's that's interesting. I'm, I, that's where I'm at. Though, I'm really hoping. In that we find out who's the who the watcher is. I'm nervous that we're not gonna, but you know, we still have three episodes left to find that out. So I know. Don't spoil it, people. I know it's already over. It's out there. I hate to break it to you, but they'll probably have another season. I'm sure they will. One, I'm sure they and will. You'll never find out but who it is. Like with most things, I usually just don't pick up on it. Like American Horror Story, I watched the first season. First and, season was awesome. And never watched another the season. The first season was really, again. really good. But every other season, I just I would start it and I would never finish. That's well. We started the second season. I was like, "Oh, this is not that good." So that was it. <coughs> you got your thing ready. Well, I have a recommend and a non. Do just the recommendation first. I'll do the recommend first. The Bastard Son and the Devil Himself. Hmm. It's a Movie? Netflix show. Show. Oh, okay. Good. Caught between two warring clans, the son of a notorious witch responsible for a deadly massacre tries to find his place in the world and his powers. Huh. Okay. Is, is it this horror? It's a, it's a series, a you said? Supernatural. Yeah, yeah like one, the re- one of the reasons I went to it, uh, one of the descriptions from a review was, it's like an X-rated Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> X-rated? Yeah. Is it X-rated? I haven't seen what it. Is I'm like, only two episodes What is it on in. Netflix? Netflix, yeah. Does Netflix do like anything? I was going to say, like how that? hardcore does Netflix get with I, their... I because I heard bloody. that mo- I heard that movie Blonde, that uh, Marilyn Monroe one, I heard that was very, very sexual... I don't know how sexual, but they, that's. I don't, I'm curious how far they would go with the uh, nudity and the uh, sex the gore. Yeah, I haven't seen much nudity yet. I mean, it comes up on the as a warning every time, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking. <laughs> we know you're going to find it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's like the disappointment when you get the nudity warning on like an episode of game of thrones and all you get is like john snow's ass or something like that you're oh, like this yeah. is a false lot of buzz aver- this is a false a lot of times when you get in a nudity warning it is male nudity i know is what at, is no what one you really, don't need to warn anybody yeah. about that actually i guess you should but it should specifically say should male say, nudity it should just put it in parentheses yeah there's still that's a you. warning just in parentheses an m it says nudity and then m in parentheses and if it was a woman you just put a w i like that idea it's get excited or not excited based on the letter that's sitting there <clears throat> i'm gonna recommend a movie uh it was just in the theater now it's uh on uh, hbo max uh it's called barbarian oh that was in the theater yeah 
for for a while like i don't know weeks? i think it just released for a couple weeks in the theater oh, I, and then uh, I, I thought it was an hbo it. max exclusive or something like it's that a, uh, a woman staying at an airbnb discovers that the house she has rented is not what it seems and i'm gonna leave it just at that and i would leave it just like don't, that don't watch the trailer don't look at anything about this movie just go watch the movie based on what i just told you right there i missed it it's really it's <laughs> real but quick, i but watch a it, woman barbarian. staying at an airbnb discovers that the house she has rented is not what it seems oh but it's got a good cast too yeah. bill skarsgård justin long um someone else i forget that girl's name yeah i don't know but it's good i mean it's is it a horror movie or is it a it's a thriller slash suspense horror movie, maybe I think. There's de- yeah. I think there's elements of horror in it yeah so really good recommend I recommend don't it. watch a trailer or read anything about it. Just going cold. It's really good. Okay. What about you, Mr. Mac? For me, it's a movie and um, it's a trilogy. Actually, most people thought there was only two of them. I, uh, I'm just also finding this out now thing. too. I'm excited. Terrifier. I went to go see the movie Terrifier two, but before seeing it, I, I was coming in cold and I went and watched uh, Terrifier the quote original one first with which was terrific because it was just on, about they were both on youtube i watched both of them on youtube terrifier and terrifier too oh you did okay yeah. so did you like one over the other one i thought the first one was way better than the second one yes. second one was good um i like the first one better i mean i, th- I think that's a lot of movies like that the sequel is it doesn't always live up to the first one but the, the, the sequel, second one was definitely a lot more gory yeah, the, the and one. it was more 80s, the second one. I yeah. think it paid homage to like um, Nightmare on Elm Street in yep. a way to me. Yeah. But the first one, it's a, the beauty it's a clown. In it, Art the Clown. Yes, is, uh, Art the Clown. And he's always smiling with the really with he's baked got really, bean teeth. Yeah, and, he's got bla- <laughs> and it's like black around his lips. So it's like his mouth just looks really, really creepy. Yes, and he really gets into his killings. Yeah. yeah, and he but has no heart. You said it was a trilogy? Yes. Yeah, what's this third one you're talking about? I didn't know there was a third movie. Well, it actually all started, I think it was 2017, at a movie called All Hallows' Eve. It was like an anthology. But the way they set it up is that it is this babysitter who is uh, watching over two kids, and they went trick-or-treating, and in the bag there is a strange VHS tape. So... They're like, okay, well, let's pop it in. What's we'll let this? Me look at it first. <laughs> yeah. So it has elements of like the ring. Yeah, I was going to say it, it sounds is, the yeah. ring. Yeah. A little yeah, bit. Yeah, so <clears throat> she pops it in there and there's like two stories on there. But weaved within the stories on the videotape is Art the Clown. So you're first introduced to him in there. And not to spoil the ending, but it sets it up for... T- uh, Terrifier. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And Terrifier, now it makes more sense because. Watching that movie, if you didn't notice, well, I'm sure you did, is that it was just killings throughout the whole thing. There was no plot or anything, which was the beauty of the show. Yeah. Hey, that's the county. He's the bad guy. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, and then the second one, I agree, wasn't as good, but it actually had a plot and a storyline, and it dragged on way too long. It was a little too long, yeah. Yeah. The first one's only like 90 minutes. The second one was two hours and 20 minutes, which is way too long. too long for a horror movie. Way too long. For that kind of movie, yeah. Um, I do recommend them though. I would recommend yeah, seeing them. Yeah, yeah, I did enjoy actually all three of them. I'm gonna have to check out All Hallows Eve though. I have to check that out. Yeah, it's good, and it's not too long either. I think it's like an hour and a half. So sweet. Yeah, it's normal. I'll watch that. I, I don't know if I have anything else really. I watch the Phillies a lot. <laughs> uh, we did a uh, we had a, a field trip. Oh, that's uh, right. We did uh, a field trip. Sort of a field trip. Brian, you didn't go with us, but um. We went and saw uh, Killer Bands uh, last Friday. We went to see Dead Guy. Nice. Um, I see your T-shirt. Yeah, Dead Guy, <laughs> um, Ground, and what was the third band? Was um, Borderland? Was it Borderland? Mm-mm. Borderline? Borderline. Yeah, I think it was something like that. Woo-hoo. Sorry, <laughs> Backslider. Backslider. That's there correct. you go. Backslider. They were almost unforgettable. I mean, forgettable. They had a they had a bass guitar, player, a, a, a guitar, guitar player. player. Yeah, bass was a guitar bass I, player. I, I, I don't even like remember. Yeah, the, yes, yes. The bass player looked like my son. I sent it to him, and he did not find it amusing. But we did. So. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever finds it amusing when you're told you look like someone. Yeah, Unless when you're 19 you, and, you, and you're, you're being told you look, you look like, like a Pitt balding or something dude. like that, you're getting told you look <laughs> like that. Then that's right. a different story. Like my kids tell me I look like Daniel Stern. I'm always like, that's not a compliment. I get Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill, really? I've gotten Jonah Hill. I don't see Jonah Hill in you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No. 
You, I get a pedophile look on you. Um, <laughs> Why? So we sent the watcher, Barbarian. Let me see if I have yeah, I, 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 I honestly here. didn't watch a lot this week just because the Phillies were taking up too much of my time at night. Uh, I bet you I'm watching news radio. Oh, I started watching All Quiet on the Western Front. Did oh, I, we all did. Yeah, yeah last I'm, I'm, like, I'm like 20 minutes in. I'm yeah, like a half an I, hour. I started yeah. that. I'm 20 minutes, about 25 minutes I in, got to yeah. the point yeah. where. It's good so far. Yeah. Like. You followed, uh, was it Henry, Henrik? Yeah. Heinrich through the first like five minutes, then you follow his jacket for the next like 10 yep. minutes because. Yep, that's right. I'm, I'm a little yeah. bit. One, I'm one a of little the boys. Bit after his, yeah. The guy got his clothes. Like, Sorry, like, I got the wrong one. And he's like, he ripped off the tag. That was a know. great take. I, you know, seeing that <laughs> side of the war, I don't think anybody's ever focused on that before. Like the uh, you German know how they, side? You, the, well, <laughs> that's the, that they strip down the, behind the, the dead. stuff. They yeah. take all their clothes. You know, and then they repurpose them. Yeah. You know, the, then they the wash lady, them, and the lady yeah. sewing. She puts her finger through the bullet hole, and she's like, yep. eh, just sews yeah. it up." And that was I'm, really I'm enjoying gruesome. it so like, far. Oh, it's yeah. very. I mean, we yeah. are as a people so good at making war. Oh but, yeah, but we're so much better at making war movies, man. Like, goddamn, <laughs> like I like felt like I was there. Like Boy, that great first, source material. That first scene <laughs> in the in the trench when their bodies are just like you're, you're following that one guy, and other people are just flying by him heads exploding next to him and stuff i was like Jesus related Christ. to that have you seen 1917 yes awesome. a great off. movie awesome. but but great I, movie. I made the immediate correlation yeah, yeah. well yeah. world war one so yeah, yeah but yeah you that see is. the trench right away too that trench that they that dude jumps up out of the trench yep. and he's just, Bing, boom right he, yep and, and, oh, he's lucky to be alive and then how it was all filled with water <clears throat> and they're trying to bail it out i'm like oh, that's yeah. an exercise oh. in futility <laughs> yeah but that first scene in all quiet where um the, his buddies yell into him and he like grabs him and then the guy just gets a bolt in the head oh, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. out of saving private ryan where the guy like gets hit in the head and he's so like indiscriminate like, he's yeah. like oh i lived and he takes off his helmet to look at the hole and, and get- <laughs> gets shot in the head yeah. i was like jesus christ man <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, yeah. I I I was very much looking forward to watching this movie. So, only twenty minutes in, I'm I'm down. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Did you start it? You didn't start it? No, no I probably won't. No. You're not a war movie guy. No. Oh, or a wow. horror movie guy. Or- well, How about of- if it was a Korean young people Korean war movie? But you like time pieces. So you would um, think you might like a war a wartime movie? Yeah, no, I never. I mean, I never saw like Saving Private Ryan Feel- or. Hmm. Any, anything like where the, the did you see HBO saving series? ryan's privates <laughs> that i might have seen apocalypse, <laughs> apocalypse now you've never seen that I, I have seen apocalypse full now. metal jacket i know i saw full metal jacket when it came out but i don't remember what it's about man logan and i watched that last year <sighs> it's about the, arlie the, ermy the, really? the, i was gonna say the vietnam part of that movie <laughs> the first half of that movie there's great. better yeah. vietnam movies yeah. but there's no better yeah. training the of, Stanley of Kubrick, marines yeah my that, favorite yeah. director like i just, i you could almost turn it off once they get to Vietnam. Right. Once you get past yeah. the miso horny scene, you're like, because hey, that's the first scene in Vietnam. Like then, stripes, yeah. you can cut it off when they yeah. get to the. Uh, when they go to Russia yeah. or wherever the hell they are. Italy? Yeah. Did they go to Italy? Russia? No, aren't yeah. they in Russia? Yeah. yeah. I think so. Where? Yeah. In stripes, stripes, where they take the RV. Oh, yeah. Into Czechoslovakia. Is it Czechoslovakia? Yeah. Yeah. Czechoslovakia? Okay. yeah, yeah. When, but it was under what? Soviet control. Yeah, it was. A, yeah. When it was, it was not, satellite. Because now it's the Czech yeah. Republic and Slovakia. They broke up. It was a disappointing breakup. But yeah, we went and saw a dead guy. That was uh, that was a good show. The I, Kung Fu Necktie. Great I, place to see a yeah. show. I had last right. seen Dead Guy back in the nineties. It was the last time I saw I guess him. Me they, too. Had, they had broken up. <laughs> uh this was the original singer too. Ah, Tim, so he's Tim the singer, one that was so, yeah. on the albums that yeah. I have. Okay. And it was a... Uh, I, I had an awesome time. No, it was yeah, fun. Thank you, Jason. Yeah. And that, I didn't know who the hell dead guy yeah. was. That venue was a great this. place to see a show, yeah. too. Very good venue. I would definitely go back to that venue. Kung What's Fu. the venue called? Kung, Kung Fu, Fu Necktie. Necktie. And it, it, that's in Philly? Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's off of Girard. Yeah, it's like venue. underneath the... Uh, the, the L train there. Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. It was actually a nice little area. Yeah, we had it that, was fine. That great parking spot you found as we pulled up. <laughs> we were right like, there. I was like, Boom. I was looking, looking at the GPS. I'm like, it's like a block away. I'm like, and I I'm see a parking right spot. Here. I'm like, I'm yeah. just going to yeah. park here. And it wasn't a block away. It was like, it was right there. Right up the street. We were yeah, on so, the block. Yeah, yeah, that was really nice. <laughs> yeah, free parking in Philly. That was crazy. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> they even bust people there, too. The school bus. That's right. That right. school bus was in the middle of the road there, right? Yeah. But um, I didn't have any other recommendations this week either. Anybody else have anything that they did? Or I have my non recommendation. Oh, non recommendation. Yeah, that's, right. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, Netflix, um, School for Good and Evil. And I mean, I'm going to tell you in the cast. The other one was an X rated Harry Potter. This sounds like a, <laughs> another Harry Potter Something type thing. Something school, so you know you got kids. Yeah. Kate Blanchett. Okay. Um, 
Oh, what's the his adult name? Gladriel. It's Furious Styles. What's his? Larry Fishburne. Larry Fishburne. We were just talking about him. <laughs> um, Charlize Theron. Oh, this is a great cast so far. Yeah. Great cast. Awful. Awful is it a movie? movie or a series? It's a movie, and I think they want it to be more. But what's, what's it about? School of Good and Evil. School for Good and Evil. For it's about a school that is for good and evil. Good and evil. They, <laughs> they raise the people from like stories. And so you have the good people and the bad people, the like, villains, like stories from like you know, like Pinocchio, and yeah, stuff exactly. Like that. Like Hansel and, and, and Gretel. Yeah, it, it's kind of what it was like. And then there was this, you know, self-writing book about her stories. And they brought in these readers, you know, these two girls. One, I like the, the Watcher good, better to the House of than evil. a reader. Watcher sounds better than a reader. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it it was not good. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's good to know. Stay away. Larry that's Fishburne. Thank you. That's a non recommendation. We're, we're word pending. Insert word here when we figure out what we're going to call these. I'm but, surprised uh, you went with Furious Styles. Not that I don't like Boys in the Hood was a great movie, but and not um, not a Morpheus. Like I would have oh, thought yeah. you would have gotten Morpheus with him, but that's okay. Whenever I see, I just think Furious. Yeah, uh, he was awesome. That's such a great Styles. name. So. I he was in Apocalypse. I, I and he, think, was, he was like 17 yeah, years old in Apocalypse yeah, now. Yeah. And I young. think Pee Wee's Playhouse. Was he in Pee Wee's Playhouse? Yeah, he was. He was Cowboy uh, <laughs> Carl. Yeah. Oh, wow. I probably knew that back then. Wow. I knew Phil Hartman was in it, but I Phil Hartman, that, yeah. Uh, Hartman. Phil Hartman was, uh, he wrote He wrote with. Uh, oh, Paul was he Paul Rubens, Rubens writer? Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, this has been an exciting and new mini podcast, Mac. What did you think of it? I think it's terrific. You can find us on Spreaker, YouTube, Facebook. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, you name it. We're there. Anywhere you get your podcasts, you can find us. I'm the Jazu on Instagram, Jazu74 on Twitter. I'm Jason. AE Gonzo1 on Twitter, AE Gonzo1970 on Instagram. I'm Andy. And I'm Brian, Papa Bad Kitty. And guest starring Mac. <laughs> and where can we find you, Mac? Everywhere. Nowhere. Okay. Nowhere. Everywhere. Everywhere and nowhere. Say so your uh, screen handle name. Uh, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Mac and something. B Mac, you know, <laughs> something like we that. We ran out of music. You can't <laughs> talk anymore. <laughs>